F322 Unit 2, Module 1, Basic Concepts and Hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons. These are organic compounds that contain hydrogen and carbon atoms only. This is a common exam question. A saturated hydrocarbon is a hydrocarbon with single bonds only. An unsaturated hydrocarbon is a hydrocarbon containing carbon to carbon multiple bonds, i.e. double bonds and triple bonds. Again, this is a common exam question. Aliphatic hydrocarbons are hydrocarbons with carbon atoms joined together in straight or branched chains. Alicyclic hydrocarbons, these are hydrocarbons with carbon atoms joined together in a ring structure. Functional group. This is the part of the organic molecule responsible for its chemical reactions. Homologous series. This is a series of organic compounds with the same functional group but with each successive member differing by CH2. Alkanes. These are the homologous series with the general formula CN. H2N plus 2. Nomenclature. This is a system of naming compounds. An alkyl group is an alkane with a hydrogen atom removed. For example, CH3 or C2H5. These are often shown as R. General formula. The simplest algebraic formula of a member of a homologous series, e.g. CnH2n plus 2. Displayed formula. This shows the relative positioning of all the atoms in a molecule and the bonds between them. Don't forget there's a bond between the O and the H in alcohols and carboxylic acids. A structural formula shows the minimal detail for the arrangement of atoms in a molecule. It doesn't show bonds between atoms. Skeletal formula. This is the simplified organic formula with hydrogen atoms removed from alkyl chains, leaving just a carbon skeleton and associated functional groups. Structural isomers are molecules with the same molecular formula, but with different structural arrangements of atoms. This is a common exam question. Stereoisomers are compounds with the same structural formula but with a different arrangement of the atoms in space. Again, this is another common exam question. EZ isomerism. This is a type of stereoisomerism in which different groups attached to each carbon of a carbon carbon double bond may be arranged differently in space because of the restricted rotation of the carbon carbon double bond. Cis-trans isomerism. This is a special type of EZ isomerism in which there is a non-hydrogen group and a hydrogen on each carbon of a carbon-carbon double bond. The cis isomer, or the Z isomer, has a hydrogen atoms on each carbon of the same side. 
The trans isomer, or the E isomer, has the hydrogen atoms on each carbon on different sides. A radical is a species with an unpaired electron. Homolytic fission. This is the breaking of a covalent bond with one of the bonded electrons going to each atom, forming two radicals. Heterolytic fission. This is the breaking of a covalent bond with both of the bonded electrons going to one of the atoms, forming a cation, which is a positive ion, and an anion, which is a negative ion. A nucleophile is an atom or group of atoms that is attracted to an electron deficient centre or atom where it donates a pair of electrons to form a new covalent bond. This is a common exam question. An electrophile is an atom or group of atoms that is attracted to an electron-rich centre or atom where it accepts a pair of electrons to form a new covalent bond. Again, this is another common exam question. An addition reaction is a reaction in which a reactant is added to an unsaturated molecule to make a saturated molecule. A substitution reaction is a reaction in which an atom or group of atoms is replaced with a different atom or group of atoms. An elimination reaction refers to the removal of a molecule from a saturated molecule to make an unsaturated molecule. Fractional distillation. This is the separation of the components in a liquid mixture into fractions, which differ in boiling point and hence chemical composition. This is by means of distillation, typically using a fractionating column. Cracking. This refers to the breaking down of long-chain saturated hydrocarbons to form a mixture of shorter-chained alkanes and alkenes. A catalyst is a substance that increases the rate of a chemical reaction without being used up itself. Radical substitution. This is a type of substitution reaction in which a radical replaces a different atom or group of atoms. A mechanism is a sequence of steps showing the path taken by electrons in a reaction. Initiation. This is the first step in a radical substitution in which the free radicals are generated by ultraviolet radiation. Termination. This is the step at the end of a radical substitution when two radicals combine to form a molecule. A pi bond is the reactive part of a double bond formed above and below the plane of the bonded atoms by sideways overlap of the p orbitals.
Electrophilic addition is a type of addition reaction in which an electrophile is attracted to an electron-rich centre or atom where it accepts a pair of electrons to form a new covalent bond. Carbocation. This is an organic ion in which a carbon atom has a positive charge. A curly arrow is a symbol used in reaction mechanisms to show the movement of an electron pair in the breaking or formation of a covalent bond. A polymer is a long molecular chain built up from monomer units. Addition polymerization. This is the process in which unsaturated alkene molecules or monomers add on to a growing polymer chain one at a time to form a very long saturated molecular chain, an addition polymer. An addition polymer is a very long molecular chain formed by repeated addition reactions of many unsaturated alkene molecules or monomers. A repeat unit is a specific arrangement of atoms that occurs in the structure over and over again. Repeat units are included in brackets outside of which is the symbol N. A biodegradable material is a material that is broken down naturally in the environment by living organisms. This is a common exam question. This concludes this topic. Thanks for watching.